what time of year it is. You know, it's Plastic Free July. Keep it, you knew that. So last year was the first time that I did Plastic Free July, uh, and you can read about how I got on with it over on my blog, eco-boost.co. I'll put a link to that below. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what Plastic Free July is, it's basically a chance to evaluate the plastic in your life and see if there's any way in which you can refuse it, reduce it, reuse it, or swap it out with something that's perhaps a little less plasticky. And basically, it's a bit of an eye-opener because plastic, is everywhere. I don't know if you've noticed, but it is kind of everywhere. Um, I was speaking to my granny about this earlier this year, and I asked her about plastic and if she noticed when there was a huge change, it, did it suddenly appear one day? And she kind of said it just like crept in, and I feel very much like that's how plastic still exists today. It sort of creeps in, and I think we're so used to seeing it that we're almost slightly blind to it. So what is the big deal with plastic? So plastic being a man-made material, it kind of doesn't really biodegrade, um, and there isn't really a sort of nature's answer to it. I think nylon four might be the only plastic that nature can kind of handle. But generally, it doesn't really biodegrade and it lasts a really, really, really long time. Scary fact, every piece of plastic that has ever been made, ever, is still in existence somewhere in the world today. Which kind of makes you think that those Barbie dolls that you played with as a kid are still out there. They probably don't look much like Barbie anymore, but they're still out there, which is really weird. So that's one thing, it kind of doesn't go anywhere and I think the way we manage it is particularly bad. It's something that kind of we've created as a species and we haven't really thought about how to complete the loop and deal with it properly. So um, it is a bit of a nuisance and it does cause issues with our ecosystem. I don't know if many of you have seen the video where the guys are trying to pull out the plastic straw from the nose of a turtle or a tortoise. Um, and the poor thing is in such pain and it just shows that that single use disposable plastic item that you used for 10 minutes or half an hour sort of ended up causing a lot of pain. Um, also birds will pick up pieces of plastic thinking that it's food and either feed them to their young uh, which fills them up with plastic, starves them nutritionally and they die or the birds themselves will fill up with plastic and they'll die and there are some incredible pictures out there. Um, I can't remember who the uh, photographer was but I'll put a link to those in the description box as well and they show birds that have died and they're decomposing but the contents of their tummy are still very much there and it is mostly plastic and it does kind of bother me that we don't really place any value in plastic it's not like oh I've paid for this plastic I'm gonna keep it and reuse it it's seen as such a sort of throwaway item um, even though there is no way so Plastic Free July is a great way of just sort of highlighting that plastic is kind of a problem. We're not dealing with it very well. So if there is anything that we could do personally, then why not give it a go and try and become like less plastic? Okay. So I'm gonna share with you some of the swaps that I'm gonna make for this Plastic Free July and talk you through why and what I'm hoping to replace them with. Also, I'm gonna be announcing the winners of the Lost Shapes giveaway at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. First up, microfiber cloths. Now these are often hailed as being a super eco alternative to dishcloths, kitchen wipes, etc. But they are made from polyester, which is a synthetic material, which yes, you guessed it, it's plastic. So recent research has shown that when you put these in the washing machine, they shed tiny plastic fibers that are so small they slip through uh, the filters in your machine. And basically, yep, they end up in the ocean. And those tiny bits of plastic will then absorb a lot of toxins and become more and more toxic. And then they're eaten by fish or sea life and they basically enter our food chain. So we end up eating plastic, which isn't what I ordered. Uh, plastic poisson, anyone? This is a cloth made from wood pulp. It's by a brand called Eco Egg. Apparently these remove 99% of bacteria and germs with water alone. So you don't really need any cleaning products with these. Um, and they've got some really interesting videos on their website showing under kind of the special light that shows up germs, just how good these are at not just smearing them around, but actually wiping them and removing them. You can use a cleaning product as well if you want. I like to use vinegar or sometimes just a little bit of washing up liquid to clean the surfaces, but yeah. I'm really excited to try those. <laughs> Can't believe it's actually made from wood pulp. It's kind of crazy, but there you go. I'll put a link to that in the description box as well so you can have a little look. I do have to say that the Eco Egg cloths do come in plastic, uh, which really bugged me. So it's two cloths per pack 
uh, wrapped in single-use plastic, which is a little bit of a plastic free July fail before I've even started. So I'm gonna see if I can write to the company and see if they would consider maybe using another type of packaging. Who knows? I also found these organic cotton um, dishcloths by The Organic Company. They're a Danish brand and they've just got really lovely designs. I already have their oven gloves and I spotted these and thought, ooh, those could be a good replacement for the microfiber cloths um, and just really useful to have in the kitchen. I love that it says no plastic, even the thread and the label are made from organic cotton. Isn't that nice? Um, so that's what it looks like when it's not in the package and you can even like hang it on stuff if you like. Conveniently, a little shop around the corner from me called The Good Place, which sells a lot of like sustainable, ethical, um, eco-friendly things like gifts, fashion and homewares, was selling these. So I was delighted to find them and yeah, I'm excited to give those a go. I'll put a link to those in the description box as well. Also, I'm thinking of just cutting up an old towel into little squares and seeing how that works. And one other option is to knit your own dishcloth. I've seen some really beautiful ones online, like Pinterest has got some lovely ones on there. Um, and apparently it's quite an easy thing to do. I have to put my hand up now and say I'm not particularly craftsy when it comes to things like knitting. I did try it once, I managed to knit a um, sort of wonky scarf, but I'm guessing a dishcloth is probably just like little mini scarves or something. So. I might give that a go. I'm not gonna promise that I'm gonna give that a go, but I might. Shampoo. So in my recent personal care favorites video, I mentioned that I was using a shampoo called Rawa, um, and it was organic and natural and worked really well with my hair, but it does come in a plastic bottle. And there were some really useful comments underneath that video, um, which I've taken on board. So this brand by Away was recommended as being a really great alternative. They are an Italian brand and they are biodynamic and they also have a really eco approach to their packaging. Um, so this is an amber glass bottle which a lot of their shampoos and conditioners come in. They do also put some of their products into um, recyclable metal tubes. Um, it does have a plastic pump and some of the products still have plastic lids but it's a heck of a lot less plastic than a whole plastic bottle. I'm hoping that they're gonna have a refill option so I could just buy a bottle without the pump and just put this pump onto the next bottle. I don't know if they do that, but I'm really hoping that they do. I need to look into it. Um, so I used this uh, a few days ago for the first time and it, it is even better than Rawa, which I didn't think it could get any better than Rawa but it has. So a huge thank you to Devon Morton. Um, you suggested Away and I was very impressed with it. Sticking with shampoo, I also decided to order some shampoo bars. Look at all those. Several of you in the comments suggested shampoo bars as a great alternative to sort of package-free shampoo. So when I was 16, I tried the shampoo bar by Lush and it completely like ravaged my hair. So that kind of put me off shampoo bars for a really long time. I'm hoping that a lot has changed in the whole shampoo bar world uh, since then. So I didn't buy the one from Lush again, mainly because I had such a terrible experience the first time. Also, I believe it does contain synthetic fragrance, which just really irritates me. I don't know if any of you have found the same, but since um, sort of quitting toxic cleaning products, my sense of smell has become really strong. And I actually find it hard to be around people who've got a really strong synthetic fragrance on so I'm cool with like essential oils that's all fine anything natural's cool but I can't handle anything that's synthetic especially if it's quite a strong fragrance so I've ordered these shampoo bars by soap nuts they're a UK company and you can buy um, shampoo bars and a whole bunch of other soaps and stuff on there as well and um, so I went for their packet of six bulk shampoo bars so I wasn't really sure which one to choose um, but apparently we've got lemon and avocado dead sea mud Beer and Bay, I love the idea of beer being a sh in a shampoo. Another one is called Coconutty, Hemp and Patchouli, and then Ayurvedic. So I'm gonna give those a go, see which ones work for my hair. There are some instructions apparently on how to use these properly and get the best out of them on the website. So I'm gonna check that out and I'll let you know how it goes. I do wanna say that Away has just made my hair feel incredible and I'm feeling like I can go even longer without washing it because it was so like moisturizing I honestly couldn't stop touching my hair it was that amazing I'm really excited to try these so up next it's bin liners so there are loads of really like lovely aspirational YouTube videos out there but I've decided to talk about bin liners 
I've been using or trying to reuse brown paper bags that you can pick up in like Whole Foods. Trouble is they tear really easily, they don't hold up well to moisture, um, so they haven't really been that successful. I have tried some of the degradable plastic bags that you can get. The trouble is, is that it's still plastic, it just has an additive in it to try and break it down more quickly, but it's essentially just breaking that plastic down into lots of tiny little bits. Um, so it's not particularly eco-friendly. So I managed to find these eco sacks. We've actually got a bin that's probably around 20 litres, but they didn't have that size, so I just bought 25 litre caddies. So EcoSac is a brand that makes paper bags that are actually quite durable. They're not made from recycled paper, they're made from FSC certified Scandinavian wood and they use the flakes of the wood which is a sort of byproduct of the timber industry and they use those to make these bags. So apparently the fibres in this are longer and stronger than using recycled paper. So I thought I'd give these a go as an alternative. I think they're actually designed for like food compost scraps. There's no reason why I can't use it as a regular bin liner. They do come in other sizes as well. You can get an eight litre one and uh, I don't know, the huge ones as well. So yeah, I'm really excited to try those. I have been looking for an alternative for bin liners for ages. And most of our trash is kind of biodegradable organic food scraps. Although there is occasionally a bit like the odd bit of packaging or plastic or something so yeah I'm really excited I'll let you know how those go oh I do want to say though annoyingly another sort of plastic free July fail I don't know why sometimes it feels like when you're trying to find a better alternative to something it's like you're defeated from the get-go when it turns up wrapped it in plastic, why? So the eco sacks turned up in this plastic film with plastic braces around as well. So that's not cool. Um, I am gonna write to the guys who make it and see if that is normal or whether it was just the particular retailer that I bought it from that sort of sends it out like this. I don't know. I'm gonna do some investigating and find out. But yeah, that's kind of not cool. I guess overall, again, it's less plastic in the space of a year compared to um, throwing out a plastic bin liner each time. But still, it's annoying. And it kind of makes me feel a little bit like I failed before I've even started. So that is a tad irksome. Also, on the topic of bin liners, our council sends through these kind of packages of plastic bags to be used for our recycling. So we're supposed to put any mixed recyclables that are collected by our curbside collection into these plastic bags and they get collected twice a week, which is just crazy. They don't even do like a compost or a food scraps collection. No, no, but they'll do a general waste and recycling collection twice a week. To avoid using these, I'm collecting any sort of mixed recyclables and taking them down three streets over to a little recycling depot where I can just drop them off. Conveniently, it's right next door to my favorite local coffee shop where I often go to get a coffee in the morning. So it's just a case of collecting a few bits, like glass jars, some paper, cardboard, and taking it down to the recycling depot there. So that's actually something I should have thought about doing a long time ago, and only now, this plastic-free July, have I thought, hey, wait a second, I could stop using these. Up next, washing up liquid. Um, I buy this one, it's by Dalesford. I love the smell of it, and I like that it's environmentally kind, biodegradable, the liquid, not the plastic, um, and it's great for sensitive skin. So you can use this as a hand wash as well as sort of doing the dishes, which is what I sort of look for. The Ecova um, washing up liquids do allow you to refill them, but I just don't really like the smell of any of them, I'm sorry. Also, they say on the Ecova bottles that the washing up liquid can irritate skin, and I did notice whenever I was using it to wash my hands, it did dry them out. So this is what I've been using instead of the Ecova uh, refills, but... I've decided to get a little creative and make my own washing up liquid. I did try this a while ago uh, when I first started the whole zero waste thing and used Castile soap, but something about being in London and living in like a hard water area means that it kind of leaves a film and makes the water go really cloudy and doesn't actually make stuff feel clean. Weird, but that's how it is. So instead, I've ordered some soap nuts which are these, they're basically like uh, sort of fruit berry shells called soap nuts and it's like a natural soap um, and I'm gonna try and play around with these and see if I can create a slightly sort of soapy liquid that I could use to wash dishes with. We also have a dishwasher so it's not like we're washing dishes all the time but something that could be used on the odd pan or something here and there would be really useful. I got these from the same place that I got the shampoo bars. I ordered the bulk option which basically uh, turns up in a brown paper bag with no extra packaging. 
which I don't know if you can see inside there. Um, normally soap nuts will come in like a hessian bag with a plastic bag maybe inside but I thought it was great that they had these as a sort of bulk option. I think people mostly use them for their laundry but I'm going to play around and see if I can use them to make sort of homemade washing up liquid. And finally dishwasher tablets. At the moment I'm using Ecova's dishwasher tablets because they come in a recyclable plastic pouch, but it does bother me that it comes in a plastic pouch even though it is recyclable. I'm keen to buy dishwasher tablets that have some sort of eco credentials, so I don't want to buy some that are filled with just complete toxic crap, even if they don't have a plastic wrapper. So I kind of want it to be environmentally kind in every sense. I have tried making my own, and I even tried it the other day, and it just doesn't quite clean the dishes properly in the dishwasher. So, if you have any tried and tested recipes that you can recommend, please let me know in the comments. I'm going to keep trying a few other different recipes for dishwasher tablets and see if there are any that end up working for us. But in the meantime, I'm using this. So that's how I'm going to approach Plastic Free July. We'll see how I go. Um, I'll try and document my successes and fails. And if you do have any tips or tricks, then I would definitely be interested in them. So please put them in the comments. And if you're doing Plastic Free July, I'd love to know what little swap outs you're making or if you're giving anything up or if you're going to start doing something differently, then let me know in the comments. In case you hadn't watched this video to listen to me talk about what I'm hoping to achieve throughout Plastic Free July, I'm guessing you're watching it because you want to hear if you're one of the winners from the Lost Shapes giveaway. Well, the wait is over, my friends. I'm going to announce the names now. Let's do it. Okay. So winner number one is Christina Stevenson. It's you. The second name out of the hat, shall we call it, was Callum Phillipson. Hey, you are one of the winners. The third and final name picked at random was Sue McFarlane. Sue McFarlane, you're a winner. I'll be in touch with you guys soon. Congratulations to you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a little thumbs up. I'd love it if you did. And remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you feel like it, you could watch another video like that one just, just there. Just there. Give it a little click. Come on. See ya.